Nowadays we take it for granted, but mapping is a very important part in human civilization, and like everything else on this earth, it had to start from somewhere. So I present you with a brief history of maps. We can trace maps back more than 5,000 years. Early maps were extremely limited and only used to show a city or a town. Maps stayed limited until the Greeks had their go at perfecting the art. The ancient Greeks played a huge role in the history of map making. Hipparchus is credited with the invention of latitude and longitude to specify a position, and Aximander was the first man to create a map of the known world. In fact, the Greeks even went as far as to calculate the circumference of the earth using shadows. Little footnote here, humans have known since at least the time of the ancient Greeks that the earth was round. Christopher Columbus didn't argue the shape of the earth, he argued about the size. This misconception most likely comes from an insult. To say someone didn't know that the earth was round is to say that they weren't very smart. But anyways, moving on. Rome further expanded upon Greek maps. Roman cartographers focused more on practical uses for maps, such as military and administrative uses. Jump ahead to the European Dark Ages, and Muslim scholars continued to advance upon ancient maps. The most noteworthy advancement is establishing a more accurately described unit of measurement for making maps. They also continued to make maps more detailed in general, but Europe didn't completely take a backseat. Many European maps from the Middle Ages were influenced by the religion of the time, and because of this, Jerusalem is often placed at the center of many European maps. After the Dark Ages, map making saw a lot of innovation. With the advent of the printing press, maps could now be more easily copied and distributed. Also, since maps weren't being replicated by hand, they could be more accurate, as the printing press would create the same image every single time. An interesting thing about early maps is that there was no set notion about what was up, so some maps were orientated with south being at the top, early Chinese maps in particular. But eventually, Europe decided they liked to be at the top, and more and more, maps started to orientate the way we know them today. Of course, we all know that in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, and discovered for Europe a whole new continent that needed to be mapped. While many cartographers mapped the new continent, the most noteworthy was America Vespucci. His maps were recognized as the most accurate, so they became the most used maps, and people began to refer to the new continent by his name, America. As time went on, cartography continued to advance as we developed new technologies that allowed us to more accurately map the land. Of course, in today's time, we have satellites that can map the entire world with extreme accuracy. In fact, we've even mapped other worlds, such as Mars and the Moon. But thanks to thousands of years of advancing technology, we can now use our handheld phones to find our way to the nearest Starbucks. And to me, this is something that I would quite literally be lost without. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. And if you could, leave a comment explaining what you didn't like so we can improve upon it on our next video. If you like this style of video, please feel free to check out my last video on a brief history of the lighter. And as always, please enjoy the rest of your internet going experience.